Okay, so we're back on Coffee and Community with a new guest, Connolly Yakiyama. Hello, I'm Connolly. I am 20 years old and I am an alumni team leader for Ellie's squad. Heck yeah. <laughs> How do you like your coffee? First serve. I take my coffee with just a little bit of sugar. What does your tattoo mean to you? And you can show the audience. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, I have a bowl of ramen on my arm, and I got it with my sister. I have a sister who's five years older than me. We're both half Japanese, and um, whenever we travel together, we try to find the best Japanese food, and so it's just our, it's just our sister tat. It's so fun. Yeah. How do you best process? I typically process either through journaling or... The Lord speaks to me a lot during worship, and so I like to... When I need to process, I'll just go worship the Lord and yeah. be in His presence. Yeah, yeah. That kind of goes into like another question I had of like, what does worship mean to you? Because I know like you and Emily worship a lot. Yeah. Oh man. Um, I think worship is. I mean, it's within the name itself. It's attributing uh, like worth to the Lord. It's um, it's seeing Jesus as the most beautiful person in the room. Um, yeah. It's just getting in His presence. Um, what does it look like to be an introvert on the race, like from when you're on the race, and then also like how does that play into being a team leader and what that like looks like to me? Yeah, so being an introvert amongst 40 plus other humans um, is not ideal. So I just have to carve out time wherever I can. It's usually in the morning. Um, I usually get up at least an hour and a half before anyone else does, which has been fun because this squad um, has a lot of early risers so it's been like 4.30 or 5 every morning um, to just spend time with the Lord by myself like in solitude and in silence so yeah. I haven't faced any challenges I found a really good rhythm on my race of getting up early and so it's just become a routine it's, it comes easily um, what is your favorite country that you've been to it can be like when you went to on the race or just like mm -hmm. life my favorite country that I've been to is Japan. I absolutely love Japanese culture. Um, I have a lot of family there. It's a really cool place. Um, there's a big mixture of there's a big mixture of tradition and modern um, society, and so it's really cool to see the mixture of both of those and to just explore. I love exploring. What has been like your most valuable self-discovery during your time as a team leader or just like on the race in general or just like for your whole life? My biggest self-discovery has probably been uh, just the fact that I don't have to strive to do anything, to lead, to to just be a follower of Christ. I just, I just have the privilege of being with the Lord and everything else follows after that. Um, that's my only responsibility is to just to be with Father all the time, just be in communion with Him, and everything else comes naturally. And that kind of goes into like, what's your favorite characteristic about the Lord, and like why? Yeah. Um, I love the kindness of the Lord. I think that He's so intentionally kind to us because number one, we aren't deserving of it, um, and number two, it's just. He knows us so intimately. Um, our Creator just knows how to love us so well, and I think it's really kind that He does He does that for us. Yeah. yeah. If you could live in any time period, what period would it be? <laughs> okay. I love this question. Yeah, I've, I've I've thought about this question a lot, and honestly, I would live in this time period. I know it's kind of boring. <laughs> I know it's boring. However, I love I love. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the 21st century. The, the, no. <laughs> I know. That's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, the 21st century is great. We have technology. We don't have plagues. We, <laughs> we don't have plagues. We don't have plagues. We have technology. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, honestly. 
<laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But I mean, who knows if we're here for it? So this would be great. <laughs> yeah, you might not be. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sad. What intrigues you about film? I think the process intrigues me. Just all of the little details that go into making a great film. Um, into pulling emotions out of people, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. That film has the, has the ability to make you feel so deeply. Um, stories have the ability to make you feel so deeply. And I think you can tell whether it's a good film. Um, if it does that or not. Oh man, it's just like the small details, like character, uh, like character development in writing or camera movements, um, the little things that you would never even notice if you weren't paying attention, but just evoke so much emotion. Um, I think it's really cool. Yeah, like yeah. little pieces of humanity. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. What is something about yourself that most people don't know? or like it takes them a while to figure out. Generally something that people don't know about me is that I really love musical theater. Um, Broadway productions are I think just like masterpieces. All the, again it kind of goes into the same thing with film, just like all the little details that go into it um, is amazing. Yeah, I love theater a lot. However many people watch this, one, thousands? Knows. But would you like to challenge the people who watch this? Yeah, I want to challenge you guys to make a new friend today. Aww. And as always, Keep eat more ramen. Amen. Just kidding, I've never said that. But <laughs> <laughs> I say it now. I say Cheers. It now. Cheers. Great, thanks, Ellie. That was so fun. I know. Wasn't it? it was. Thanks. I've never been in front of a camera. Yeah, me either. <laughs>